Hi, everybody. It's Jeffrey. It's Right Color. And uh, this is the reading for the 28th of July. I'm setting up my little thing. I keep on moving the computer. All right. Um, I just put up the August readings. Uh, the weekly readings are up. Um, but for this week, <laughs> please like, subscribe, share comment, press the bell for notifications. Go visit me on my website, ripecolor.com. And I've had a really full day already. Today is Tuesday. I'm reading for Wednesday. It's a miracle. You have no idea. I, I can't even get into it. I'm like on and on. So many stores to deal with. Nobody can guarantee the delivery. They want you to put in the money for the delivery, but they don't want to guarantee that someone's going to take it up the stairs. Isn't that nice, right? Customer service. <laughs> That's like you buy a scarf from me and I'm like, listen, I'm sending it by carrier pigeon, but you know, you know how carrier pigeons are. Sometimes they like to go visit their, you know, their friends. So, you know, it might, it might get there, it might not. He might not really feel like coming to your apartment, but you know, give me the money anyway, because I'm entitled. <laughs> anyway, so it was a lot to deal with for a long time. But anyway, I have a refrigerator. It's white, it's better. I had one of those silver ones. And it, you know, it's like a faux stainless steel. It shows every single fingerprint that's ever, you know, been in the world. If you didn't touch it, your fingerprint would have been on it. It's like a crime scene. <laughs> All right, so this is for Wednesday. After this, I am taking a nap. I'm returning emails and I'm taking a nap. I've been up really early. I woke up really early and dealt with a lot of stuff. And it's hot. So I went out, I bought a few things, you know, replenished my dairy. I mean, I, I should have waited a little longer, but I couldn't, you know, and I was able to actually make myself a cup of coffee and have milk. Okay, enough about me. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Move forward. I mean, he's moving. You know, he's also about confidence. This guy is about confidence in his ideas, right? This one certainly has confidence in his ideas. With that outfit, he's got to have confidence. He's very strategic. And this is about attainment of your goals, attainment of money, uh, luxury, um, and, you know, listening to your inner guide. Because to me, um, she, you know, the bird is talking to her, just like the birds talk to me. I didn't get my suet yet. I thought I was supposed to get it today. Um, I want to talk about this card. It's a nine. Nine is attainment. So uh, this is attainment of wealth. But there's more to this card. She's, she's really sort of, um, I don't have my glasses and I'm not getting up. It's, it almost looks like Venus. It's sort of a cross between a flower and the symbol of Venus, right? So she's really about abundance. She's really about flow. She's about luxury. This, she, this is the, um, the entrepreneur. This is, to me, this is the entrepreneur card. And she's worked really hard. You know, she didn't, it wasn't like she, um, She's a Rockefeller, you know, it wasn't that at all. She worked really hard. She worked really hard. And it's a female entrepreneur on top of it. So it, it's almost like she worked doubly hard or triply hard, you know? There were a lot of things that she had to deal with because she's been through the one, the two, the three, the four, the la, 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 la. She worked really hard to get here. And now she's enjoying the fruits of her labor. She's in her garden. She's in her garden and her orchard. She, and her intuition is there. And there's a generosity also to this card for me. I think this is how you got it. You were willing to sacrifice maybe part of your ego. This is, so this is about self-sacrifice, self but it's really about sacrifice of um, a 
part of your ego. This isn't about sacrifice of money or sacrifice of time. I mean, it is sort of sacrifice of time, but it's really more to me at this moment. It's like a sacrifice of a piece of your ego. Sometimes it's, um, we need to let go of a certain identity that we have. I think it's really important. So many of us are identified with the tribe that you belong to, whether that be a national thing or a religious thing or a, uh, uh, like a, a sexuality thing or uh, et cetera, right? Or, you know, I'm a man and therefore this, and I'm a woman or I'm a, a young person or I'm a, whatever it is that, you know, I think we need to hold on to our identities in this age in this moment in time very loosely very loosely it's like you know i'm a man what does that mean you know it means i have a physical body of a man does that mean that i'm not sensitive no does it mean that uh, i'm unable to cry no does it mean that i'm um super uh, aggressive no right? Oh, well, I'm from this in this country. Does that make me smart? Does that make me lazy? Does that make me um, close minded? Does that make me friendly? No. <laughs> no. Those are all, you know, sometimes I think we identify too much. I'm just talking generally with you know, I'm a so-and-so, therefore, it's like, well, why don't you be a so-and-so and then just do so-and-so, you know, instead of, oh, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. I think, I think that's kind of what's going on. I think own what's yours, own what's yours, but also let go of what's not yours. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to throw one more card because, you know, I'm taking a nap after all. I, so I went out for a moment. You know, it's hot out. It's not crazy hot, but it's like it's going to be more a little bit more, you know, I don't know, temperate tomorrow a little bit. And it's like, I'll do my shopping tomorrow. I should really let the refrigerator sink in for 24 hours. But I had to go and buy some stuff because, uh, you know, I had to throw away so much stuff. What a shame. I think letting go of this piece of your ego or of something that mm -hmm. is outdated. You know, it's, it's kind of like when you go through your wardrobe, you go through your wardrobe and it's like, well, yeah, maybe you like this shirt or this sweater or this pair of pants or whatever it is. And, but it's like, you know, it's really kind of outdated. You know, either it has like a hole or a stain or it doesn't really fit you right anymore or it's so stretched out, it's never gonna get back to its original shape or whatever it is, you know, sometimes it's just time to like, let go of the outdated attitudes, the outdated physical things. And that's what being abundant really is. It's being able to let go of what doesn't work, what doesn't serve you, it has no, it has no purpose instead of hoarding. This, she doesn't hoard, no. Her garden is so big, she has plenty of room to keep whatever she wants in there, but she doesn't have a giraffe, does she? She doesn't have, uh, you know, she doesn't have, you know how like sometimes you go by these, these houses in the country, well, area, the, the same thing in, in the city. It's like, what are you hanging on to that for? You haven't touched that thing in 30 years. Oh, well, you know, that's not what she does. See, this is what makes her an entrepreneur. She thinks on her feet and she's like, that idea is dead. We're not doing that anymore. We're doing something else. Or maybe there's a piece of that idea that'll work. So we're going to take apart the electronic thing, pull out the piece that's valuable, use it in something else. And the rest of it, we're dumping. I, I, I'm really feeling that. It's almost like everything I'm saying has nothing to do with the cards today. <laughs> Look, 
work, you get new creativity and new passion. But sometimes you have to make room. Sometimes you got to make room. So I think that's what it's about. It's like, you know, just because you define yourself in a certain way or have for a long time, you can always redefine yourself. You can always redefine yourself. And that's a sacrifice because we're so used to doing what we do and everybody knows us for that and it's comfortable. And what I'm saying also, what I'm saying as well, I should say, is um, it's time for all of us to challenge ourselves and change and let go of things that don't really work anymore so that something new and fertile can come, right? What are you hanging on to? What are you hanging on to that you don't need, doesn't serve you? She's a philosopher today, girl. <laughs> Now I'm going to take a little nap, you poo. Um, all right. Ain't nothing I like better than a nap. Well, there's plenty of other things I like better than a nap, but it's one of my favorite things. One of my favorite things is a nap. One of my other favorite things is like a really good piece of fruit. Like a really good piece of fruit in season. It's like, oh, this is like amazing. And, you know, you could. there are a lot of fruits that do that for me. Um, I don't know all their names. <laughs> I'm a little punchy today. In any case, um, bless you. Have a lovely day. And um, I'm very grateful for all your comments and your um, um, shares and likes and uh, donations. It, it really, I'm really grateful. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully the suet is gonna to come tomorrow. So the birdies will be back. And um, perhaps I'll be able to do it without this so that you don't hear the air conditioner. And a little while ago, you know, I got the new refrigerator. So this is so funny. I got the new refrigerator and the, um, I have this, one of those air conditioner you put in the window with the hose. Um, that was given to me, you know, God bless. It's really strong, it really works. A little loud, but you know, what are you gonna do? It was leaking like you cannot imagine. You could, I was like, oh, really? Oh, really? And I just turned it off for a little while. I went and bought some yogurt and, I don't, you know, milk and, you know, just a few little things. And uh, anyway, I turned it on. So far, it's not leaking, but it's like, you got to be kidding me. Uh, you know, we deal with things as they come up and we deal with them. It's cool. Blessings, blessings. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye.